Police in two states are looking for clues tonight after someone discovered a woman's body wrapped in a tarp. It happened last week near Dayton, Ohio, but police say the body has ties to the Wabash Valley. News 10's John Swanner is in the studio tonight. He's following this developing story. John, what can you tell us? Well, Mark and Patrice, the Sheriff's Department in Greene County, Ohio, used fingerprints to identify the woman as Kayla Archer. She's originally from Pennsylvania, but was most recently living here in Terre Haute. Now police are trying to figure out who killed her. Kayla Archer didn't know many people in the Terre Haute area, but those who do know her are stunned, not only by the fact that she's dead, but also by the fact someone killed her and dumped her body in a remote ditch. It blows my mind because stuff like this doesn't happen around us. <laughs> This is stuff you watch on TV. The ditch where someone spotted Kayla is located in rural Xenia, Ohio, which is southeast of Dayton. Authorities responded after getting this 911 call. I don't know what it is. It's about five or six feet long, and it's wrapped in uh, green wrapping paper like. And uh, my neighbor stopped, and we was wondering what it was, and we cut it a little bit, and it was, it was bloody inside. The local sheriff confirmed Kayla was murdered. We don't have a uh, crime scene, but we are investigating this as a homicide, and we're quite confident that it was a homicide. I had seen the cops outside all day long, but they weren't Terre Haute police. This investigation now spans into two states, as police have already paid a visit to the Archer residence on Kent Avenue in Terre Haute. The circumstances surrounding this case have the neighborhood on edge, as mixed stories of what may have happened to Kayla make the rounds. One was that she was murdered in her house, and the other one was that she was in Ohio. As for Terre Haute Police, they would only confirm that police in Ohio called them to let them know Archer's body was discovered. From there, local police have no comment at this time. We'll continue to follow the story and bring you updates as they become available. Back to you.